Move a little closer. Yeah, that's good. And you can, if you want, you can face me. Okay, dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of God to witness and bless the marriage of Bradley and Bethany in holy matrimony. The bonding covenant of marriage was established by God in creation and our Lord Jesus Christ adorned this manner of life by his presence in his first miracle in Cana of Galilee that was at a wedding. It signifies to us the mystery of the union between Christ and his church and Holy Scripture commends it to be honored among all people. The union of husband and wife and heart, body and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy, for the help and comfort given one another in prosperity and adversity, and when it is God's will, for the procreation of children and their nurture in the knowledge and love of the Lord. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, deliberately and in accordance with the purposes for which it is instituted by God. Into this holy union, Bethany and Bradley now come to be joined. Before God and your parents, I ask you to affirm your willingness to enter this covenant of marriage and to share all the joys and sorrows of this new relationship, whatever the future may hold. Bradley, Will you have Bethany to be your wife? And will you love her faithfully as long as you both shall live? Yes. Good answer. <laughs> Bethany, will you have Bradley to be your husband? And will you love him faithfully as long as you both shall live? Yes. Good. Hear the word of God as written by the Apostle Paul. And I want you to listen to these words. Because in it, there's a lot of good advice about marriage. So I'm going to listen to what Paul wrote. <laughs> He wrote, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if any has a complaint against another, forgive each other, just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you must also forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which you were indeed called into the one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teach and admonish one another in all wisdom, and with gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. You have a flower girl. <laughs> Let's have a word of prayer. Lord God, we ask that you bless Bradley and Bethany as they pledge their lives to each other. Grant that their love may continue to grow and be a true reflection of your love for us all. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to join hands. Okay. And face one another. And Bradley, I want you to look as deeply as you can into Bethany's eyes and repeat after me. I, Bradley, take you, Bethany. I, Bradley, take you, Bethany. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. To death us do part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's, According to God's holy, holy ordinance. ordinance. And thereto I pledge myself truly. And thereto I pledge myself truly. With all my heart. With all my heart. And Bethany, I want you to look as deeply into Bradley's eyes as you can. And I want you to repeat these words. I, Bethany, take you, Bradley. I, Bethany, take you, Bradley. As my wedded husband. As my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to 
according to God's holy ordinance. And thereto I pledge myself truly. And thereto I pledge myself truly. With all my heart. With all my heart. Do you have rings to exchange? <laughs> oh, you're okay. 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 Well, would you take would you take the rings off your finger? Because this is going to be the symbolic uh, sealing of the vows that you've made. Okay? So, Bradley, would you put the ring on the fourth finger of Bethany's left hand and repeat after me? I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my promise. As a sign of my promise. And Bethany, put Bradley's ring on the fourth finger of his left hand and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my promise. As a sign of my promise. Good. Let's have a word of prayer. Eternal God, your love is the source of all good things. Right now, we pray that the knowledge of your love may inspire this union that's now begun. Grant that Bethany and Bradley, who have dedicated themselves to one another in your name, grant that they may live in harmony and true companionship throughout their life together, seeking one another's welfare bearing one another's burdens, and sharing one another's joys. Give them the resources to live without fear of poverty and grant them joy in their own. Father, keep them true to the faith in which this marriage has begun, that they may always walk within the light and love of Christ, strengthened by the Spirit against all temptation. And when mortal life is over, bring them in your mercy to the joy of that life that shall have no ending in the kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Since you have pledged yourself to one another in the covenant of marriage, and, if you made your, and you've made your declaration before God and these witnesses, I pronounce that you are husband and wife, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, what God has joined together, let no one separate. As God's own, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, and patience, forgiving each other as the Lord has forgiven you, and crown all these things with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Amen. Amen. Bradley, you may now kiss your wife. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Woohoo! Woohoo! Right? <laughs>